It seems our investigation will be quite the ordeal after all. Still, I find it hard to believe that La Habrea knows naught of what has transpired here. Over the mastermind of this crisis is they do not lack the power and cunning. Under the surface. Yet more. Eric Thernios is peering. I I'm just shall I just call him Eric? I should probably just call him Eric, shouldn't I? Peering into the depths of pandemonium. Not a sound can be heard from within, which means neither creature nor warder has made it this far. We should begin forming a plan to save them at once. Forgive me if I misunderstand, but do you mean to rescue the warders and creations both? Yes. Naturally. Although they may be dangerous, they're valuable research subjects. I wouldn't see our labour, our untold hours of study go to waste. I dare say La Habrea would smile to hear you say such a thing. That is, if we had cause to report this incident to him. Where is La Habrea? Is he the mastermind? Smile? I'm not sure his face is capable of such warmth. Huh. Ah, so you have met him before. I was under the impression he rarely visited Pandemonium. I have, yes. My mentor was the previous head of this facility, that is to say, La Habrea's predecessor in the position of Chief Keyward. Her name was Athena. I'm going to write that down. So Athena was Eric's mentor and the previous keyword of Pandy. Her name was Athena, and she was a researcher, researcher with words. It was she who appointed me to this position, in fact. Athena is the goddess of war and wisdom in Greek myth. I see. I did not know there was a chief keyword before La Habrea. Your motivation to save your research subjects is not entirely driven by duty to the words, words then. You also wish to preserve the work of your mentor. You've the right of it. I'm lacking in ideas of how to go about that, however. I'm a mere warder and cannot wield internal magics. Ooh, cracky. Ah, but of course, I can hardly expect you to be versed in the magics we use here. If you recall, during our battle earlier, I bound you in ethereal shackles. Interment is a more refined and powerful magic based upon the same principles. While both are used to keep our subjects docile, only the keyword of each tier is permitted to use interment. Even if I were to, even if I were allowed, I lack the aptitude to use the spell to any notable effect. Hmm, fascinating. I have some knowledge of these forms of spellcraft, actually. Lahabre himself established their foundation, if I recall. While shackles are meant to bind an object in place for a short time, interment freezes the very space around it for as long as the caster wills. Indeed. While the illusory beings you summoned in our fight suggested as much, I see your knowledge of magic is vast. Perhaps you've already mastered the art of interment and I've been lecturing you like a child all of this time. I'm afraid my knowledge ends there. I have not the precise understanding of how the invocations interact with natural laws that would be needed to cast said spells with any consistency. While I consider myself well versed in various magics, I would be ill advised to assume the juice is a keyword without instructions. That being said, if I were to learn more of interment and its inner workings, perhaps. Uh, lead the fighting to me. You do. No. You have a warder standing in front of you. Well. The solution is obvious when you put it like that. Eric, you implied that what prevented you from performing interment was lack of magical capacity. What if I supplemented your power with my own? Would the spell succeed then? Uh, I can't say for certain. I've never heard of such a thing being done. 
I believe it may be our best recourse. That is, of course, assuming you can perform the initial rites and incantations flawlessly. Even the smallest misstep, we'd have to start over. Bada, bada, bada. You needn't worry about that. I've seen the spells cast so many times that their motions have been burned into my memory. I won't disappoint. Very well. Let us work out the specifics afterwards. Once we do, we can test out our methods on one of the escaped creatures. Though I suppose there is the matter of finding one. It would be foolish to rush in blindly, lest we find ourselves surrounded with naught but an untested stratagem at our disposal. Nay, I prefer to engage a single creature that Demogen could dispatch on her own if the spell were to go awry. I agree, and I may have an idea in that regard. I recall seeing the hippocampus wandering the waterways during my flight. Perhaps it is still there. Few of the subjects housed within Asphodelus are fond of water, and I believe we'll be able to engage the beast without fear of unwanted guests. A hippocampus? Then that should be our first target, or perhaps subject, is a better term. Before we commence with the internment magics, the creature should be weakened to a sufficient degree. I believe I can trust you with that task. Is this going to be the next actual fight, or we're going to get a little bit of solo -y stuff? As dependable as ever. Once you've given it a thorough trouncing, we shall bind this hippocampus with the keywords, keywords magic. Until then, my illusion shall fight by your side. No, this is going to be the second. The hippocampus will be alone, but it's a daunting opponent nonetheless. Its magic warps the environment around it, and it will be a home amidst the waterways. Steal yourself by a fight. I'm always ready for a fight. Quest accepted! The second circle now available. Athena ever drove home the fact that our subjects should be treated with the utmost care. It would be best if we could see them confined once again rather than disposed of like beasts gone feral. I take it we are each ready to fulfil our respective roles. Truth be told, this will be the first time I have practiced magic that requires such a degree of cooperation between parties. How thrilling. Time for the second circle. Straight in. A hippocampus. We fought a hippocampi before. We fought them in uh, Don Meg, haven't we? I suspect this one will be a much more interesting design. Let me take one screenshot every few seconds. So if you screw up the timing. Oh, hi. Okay. Ludwig, is that you? Hi, friends. I love the video outfit. Mythic creation, the hippocampus. That is hideous. And definitely gives me Ludwig vibes. Hi, folks. This guy is pretty. Carbuncles just sat there. Right, we've got some raised platforms. We've got some water vents. This water is sus, isn't it just? Yeah, these remind me of the platforms in... Crystal Tower. But something tells me... Murky Depth is an AoE. Okay. 
doubled impact. That's a double tank buster. I think they needed to stack for that, but I can't see you around the thing's fat ass. Uh, oh. Oh, it's head and body go separate ways. That's cool and weird. Nope. The tanks are enjoying many vulnerability stacks already. Right, Murky Depths was the AOE. Yeah. This guy doesn't actually have a front and back, I've just realised. He's got no bites taken out of his donuts. Probably don't want to be standing there, mate. Tainted Flood. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, my buff's about to fall off. Let's do something about that. Mark of Easy Prey. Oh, so we need to stack for that. Otherwise, the damage that we take is increased. Okay. Right, we're no longer marked, so... Right, disassociation again. Okay, it's doing a weird thing with its head now. Which I'm guessing is going to be a big line, yeah. Uh, right, this is a... That took quite a long time to charge up. But we're fine. Oh, shoot. My um, buff has fallen off again. Murky Depths was the AoE. I like the music. It's It's got a real sense of... Kind of impending dreads. Sewage deluge. That was a big ass AOE. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I, I touched the water and got drop seeds. So you don't want to ever touch the water. There's a cool amount of movement involved here. Somehow I've managed to lose my buff on it again. I think this is going all right, though. We've got some Vun stacks building up. Oh, it wasn't actually on me. Everybody stack. Screw that up. Ooh, people are dying now. Healers are still up, though. Right, we need to be over here. The head. That'll blow us out there. Okay. 
You have to need to get some DPS back up and the second healer, actually. Right. It's going to be a second one of those. Sewage eruption. Oh, shit. This is probably going to... Oh, no, it didn't quite kill us all. I thought it was going to, but we've actually got quite a few people back up now. That's good. All right. Munio. Doubled impact was on the... There was the double tank stack, which is a new thing, which I quite like the marker for. Yeah, this is... Uh Sluices are beginning to overflow. Oh, shit. Ah, that's going to hit me. Oh, that's going to kill me. Ouch. Ouch. I need to target the enemy, damn it. That's why it's not... Um... <laughs> Ouch. Oh, we're going to die here. Oh, no, we didn't. This is a fun fight. I'm liking this. It's a difficult one to recover from, though, it seems. Yeah, this should push me back there. Oh, I don't know whether I've got everybody in that. And over here. That was... Oh. Ah, oh, how did that catch me? So much pain. Yeah, we got this though. Nice. That was a good fight. Just enough. Um, interesting kind of intersection of mechanics. Nice. Interred. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, there's some animation budget's been spent on that. Nice. Nod. <laughs> I love the fact that we just nod and everything there. 
Right, so I want the unsung Shosis. Need. That was a good roll. Pass on everything else. I have no problem with doing that fight again. That was cool. Do, 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 do. That sounds suspiciously like me getting some loot. Yep. Sweet. Ah, oh, no commendations. That was a trial by fire, or water, I suppose, but I had faith we would see it through. So long as we had your stout arm, of course. It's true. I knew that you were no mere mercenary, but to make such clean work of the hippocampus, seasoned fighters scarcely have occasion to visit Pandemonium, let alone display their skills. Mastery takes all forms indeed. Needless to say, our plan worked to perfection, in no small part thanks to you two. Themis's power is more than enough to complete the interment. Spellcasting was never my strong suit, but that always made me feel like a proper Magos. Uh, truly? I've seen your abilities first hand in your fight with damage, and I beg to disagree. Uh, Shackles is the one exception, and it's only because I've been forced to practice it since I was but a small child. Other magic leave me feeling completely out of my depth. Regardless, it seems luck is on my side. To guide me to you, we may prove the, imp prove the impossible possible after all. Alright, 9, 11, 11. After witnessing the Hippocampus' capabilities, I should not blame you for wishing to avoid engaging any further creations in the place they're choosing. Alas, I doubt we will have the luxury. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.